Hello and welcome. We like Pokemon Mystery Dungeons here on this channel. I don't know if you can tell, but we do. I like it. My co-host here, Gamer, likes it. Pokemon I Mystery Dungeons is a damn good franchise. It is one of the most iconic Pokemon spin-offs. And I just bloody love it. I've been streaming them on Twitch. Who knows, right after I'm finished with Mystery Dun Super Mystery Dungeons, I might go back to um, Red and Blue Rescue Team or Gates to Infinity. Speaking of Pokemon Red and Blue, I'm going to do the iconic team from there. The first ever introduced Legendary Exploration Team, Team ACT. Also known as Alakazam, Charizard, Tyranitar. ACT also stands for Team Act. Because they always act on whatever they need to do. Unfortunately, nice. I can't really go into detail about them because you haven't seen what they do yet, so... You either have to go watch it on Twitch... When we finally get probably... around to it. Or... <laughs> well, no. I believe what you do know so far is they are a legendary team and they seem to know... And they seem to be aware of what's going on. Well, you can see their guest appearances in a couple streams. Ah, I'm... yes. Super Mystery Dungeons. They are our saviors. We originally had yeah. Team Alpha, which was Charmander, Mudkip, Turtwig. However, they quickly became underleveled. So, we introduced ACT because they had room clearing moves and were much higher levels. And before I mean, you say don't spoil it for them, gamer, first off, you probably won't see that video until, like, December. Because I mean, that's, that's, what, that's what I was going to say. We've got 23 parts so far. That's 23 weeks on top of, what, 28 Mystery Dungeon videos? And we're on episode 6, so we've got another 22 plus 23, so... Let's just say we'll probably have Mystery Dungeon Wednesdays until next year, probably next March. But if you have come to this channel and you don't like Pokemon Mystery Dungeons, we still got the Solo Run Mondays and Long Run Fridays. In fact, you might even see some crossovers. Okay. Now, gamer, that little picture there... Above the yes. chairs. That's what the um, Switch remake looks like. As you can see, it's a cell-painted art style, and the Pokemon are 3D models, cell-shaded. I have to ask you a question. Of and course. I'm just, this gonna, and this is going to be one I don't think involves spoilers. But, but if you had to pick one of the two games we play that gets a remake... Because I don't think they're ever going to do a, a, a Mystery Dungeons for um. Yeah, they've already while. said that Super Mystery Dungeons is the last in the franchise. Then the um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeons EX, which is the Red and Blue Rescue Team remake, came out of nowhere. So if they are going to do a remake, I'm guessing it's going to be Explorers of Sky next. But I would love to see... This is going to sound so stupid because this one is the most recent, but I'd love to see Super Mystery Dungeons. Actually, I think I've got to be honest, I think Super Mystery Dungeons is a perfect game. Really? Well, you've you've just sat through and watched the whole thing. Can you yes, tell me any flaws that you can think of just off the top of your head? Like, you feel, okay, that could have been done better, or I would have preferred that. Um, I don't think this would really count as a spoiler, but the um, AI companions do wander no, no, off a bit. Not of like that. Like, I mean, story-wise. Because I've got one. Uh, this is a spoiler for Explorers of Sky, but it isn't, an, it isn't a spoiler for our one. I would have loved to have seen the Future Squad return for the final fight against the Big Bad. Because, you know, it just being Palkia at the end, that it kind of feels like, oh, you just introduced him, now he's the one who sorts everything. What if it was Dialga and Palkia at the end? 
like them both, and when you did the final fight, you had Grovar, Dust Noir, and Celebe come back. Yes, but then that would make me question the um, time traveling logic, which no, I'm no, not no, you've got Celebe and the, and you've got the you got Celebe and you've got the um, time gate or whatever it was called. So they do have methods of coming back in time. But what I mean is, imagine if they were like, okay, we've heard in the future someone else is trying to cause the future to be ruined. We've stopped Dialga, now we're going to help stop this guy. Uh, well, we've already started spoiling it, but I don't think we're going to get to the finale until, like, the fall. Yeah, either people will have forgotten this by this video or they've already seen Explorers of Sky. So I'm a bit more comfortable discussing spoiler-esque topics because everyone we know who watches these videos are the ones who come to the Twitch streams. So they should Twitch already TV know. Twitch.tv slash Phantom7420. But also, do, do you get what I mean? They should have brought back the Future Squad in the post-game to sort of bring everything together. Yes. There's also something I would like to say, which I would love, which I don't know, could do. You know the um the villain team, right? The villain team that's gonna be introduced which to one? YouTube soon. Well, um, I believe team Chap Skull. Oh, I was No, it's okay, you yeah, can was... say it. Because remember, we're gonna yeah. have a run with Team Skull soon. Although, actually I've been thinking, what if we did a villain run? You know, we have the one from Super Mystery Dungeon, Nuzleaf. Yeah, I know I just spoiled that, but as I said, the video won't be out until next year. Nuzleaf, um, Gengar, Dust Noir, Sableye, Team Skull. You know, we just have a villain team. Team AWD, stuff like that. That's an interesting... Or is that too much? Like, should we actually just split them off? I would say split them off because they're their own teams. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, would Nuzleaf be here and be here and be funny in Pokemon Black and White? Or would you prefer I did it in a game where I could also get Yeveltel? Uh, probably also include Yeveltel. Yeah, I guess, but. Come on, it's kind of fun. It's, it would be kind of funny to try and beat the game with an early game grass type whose stats get outdated by the third gym and two alien looking fox. Yeah, that would be funny. Because look at this team, you got a pseudo legendary a starter and one of the most powerful psychic types in the entire game. Compared to, say, Team Skull, where you've got. An early game boss Pokemon, you know, at, where, um, Jupiter after Return of Gym. And then two base form coughing and a Zubat. It would essentially be the Stung Tank run featuring Zubat and um, coughing. Also, while we are on the subject of villain teams, can I ask you another question? Of course. We have. 12 minutes. So, do you think Team Rocket, you know, failed pretty early, and as they kept coming, they keep coming back in the series, do you think they should have another shot? Are you saying, like, how I've done Ash Ketchum through multiple regions, I should give Team Rocket another chance? Something like that. Would, how about instead I give him a fair shot? So, like, I cut the Pokemon down to just the region, but it's not hardcore nu Nuzlocke rules, so they can run through at their own pace. Yeah, because, um... Fair enough, okay, I'll write that down. So, Team Rocket, start with Fire Red Leaf Green, to coincide with the Ash Ketchum Fire Red Leaf Green. Oh, oops, sorry, that's not been announced yet. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know if people will remember, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, but that's probably coming out next week if you um, finish that one soon. So, 
It's always funny that we come back to each game. What do you think the big flaw is with this villain, with these villain groups? Because I feel like... I think the big flaw um, is that Team Magma and Team Aqua are trying to... Well, let's just say it like this. If Team Aqua succeeds, people will drown. If Team Magma... Magma succeeds... There will be a global drought which will cause wildfires and everyone will die. So, I mean, they have not considered the long-term ramifications of their plans. Cyrus wants to kill everyone. I'll give Giovanni this. All he wants to do is kidnap Pokemon and make money. Yeah, he's, um, Although, he's kidnapping Pokemon in a game where Pokemon are in the wild, free to catch to anyone. Why steal that kid Zigzagoon when you can just go catch someone else's? I don't know. Oh well. Like, it's a pretty... Uh, simple plan. Simple mind, I guess. I will give a little spoilers. Wigglytuff's guild is entering a new age. They are going into Soul Silver. And I've decided this time to include Phantom and Gamer. Yes! I mean, how could you not include us last well, the time? The first time I thought, okay, it's Wiggly's Guild. If I include the starters, I'd then have to include all the starters. Because, you know, the series had just started on my channel. But now I feel like it's been five weeks, people know if they've watched the, um, Wigglies, um... If they've watched it, they know what Pokemon we are, they know where we're at. It's fair to include them now. But I also really want to do the Expedition Society in Pokemon X and Y, but I cannot figure out how to randomise it. Or put in encounter cheats. Because Buizel you can only get by breeding two float souls. I'm not even sure you can get Arcan until post game. Swirlix and I'd have to start off with a Bunnel Bee. Until I can catch a uh, Swirlix and Ampharos. And Jirachi and Celebi are impossible to get without cheats. So the Expedition Society, unless I figure out how to be able to randomise it, it may be quite difficult. Which is a shame. But if I did it in an earlier game, I'd be losing out on Bunnelby, who honestly don't really care about right now. And Swirlix, who is already one of the icons of the group. Yes. Um, hmm. I mean, come on, Swirlix died eating. That is such a mood. <laughs> You're in the middle of the apocalypse and you can't even look up from your plate. But we've got Alakazam, Tyranitar and Charizard now, so we've got Team ACT. Instead of APC. Because, you know, Pupitar. Yeah, no, I don't get it. Fair enough. I'm not that smart you, <laughs> about Pokemon. <laughs> Tyranitar doesn't evolve until level 55, so until level 55 it's been a Pupitar. Oh. So instead of ACT, ACP. Well, that doesn't sound good. ACT, for some reason... Um, what, wait, why are we calling it ACT and not ACT? I'm not sure what it's meant to be, actually, because it's text, isn't it? And when yeah, you see what... three capital letters, you either think, this I need to yell, or I need to read out the letters individually as an acronym. I think we just just said it as an acronym because no, every like, time we we're team we just... AWD, we don't go team AWD. I don't, can that even be possibly spoken? I have no idea. Oh, look, it's, um, it's a round boy. Yes. Shame is on the enemy team. Yeah. You know what's funny, though, about Alakazam? What is funny about Alakazam? 
He's meant to have over 5,000 IQ, but his level up moveset sucks. He only learns psychic type moves for damage. So he can't actually do anything to a dark type enemy. He doesn't even learn, say, Swift or something, you know, like a small, low based, normal type move. But you know something else interesting about both Team ACT and Team Charm? Everyone on the yeah. team has Mega Revolutions. Interesting. I don't know that much about Mega Evolutions, even though I watch basically, part of the, um, basically Mega Revolution was a gimmick of Gen 6, rolled over into Gen 7, where there was no new ones introduced in Gen 7, but because it was in Gen 7, people thought, oh, this is permanent. But basically, Mega Revolutions was given to Pokemon who are, sh who are awful, or Pokemon who are popular. Where they hold on to a Mega Stone, and with the Mega Ring, they get a temporary power boost. Where they evolve into a stronger form, which goes away after the end of the battle. Charizard and Mewtwo got two forms each. So Alakazam becomes a psychic deity with five spoons. Five spoons? Tyranitar looks more radioactive, like he gets more spikes. And she Charizard like either becomes a bigger dragon or a black and blue flamed Yu-Gi-Oh looking dragon. Lopunny is a awful Pokemon in the regular game, sadly. But her Mega Revolution makes her basically what Dreyano did to the base form in Lopunny. Normal fighting and can hit term ghost types. Medicham just looks weird. And God of War you saw with Diantha in the X and Y video. But we're on to the Elite Four now. Yeah. Do you think we will like we'll look at we'll never be able to look at po some Pokemon the same again because of our no, portrayals of them? Believe me, I can't see some Flora the same way. You know who I can't see the same way anymore? Who can't you see the same way? Meryl and Azaril. That is so true, yes. And we could say Meryl. We could say Meryl and Azaril because they're already live on YouTube. That Go is, watch. That is also true. Um yeah. Who we else? Who else? There's gotta be more. Uh, Kecleon. True, but I think that one's been edged out. Like the um, Jokes War Finn. It'll, it'll live uh, on for another um, year, but we don't include it as much now, do we? No. Probably because we lost the original voice actor. We didn't lose him as in he's died. He's just busy. So that's a bit of a shame, yeah. but you can't do much, can you? Yeah. Life comes I first. Of, I have a lot of um all right, I've got all the to, mega um, revolutions. Sorry, go on, what's this respect for? For um voice actors. You know like how they voice actors what for like low budget like animation. Bray Baker? Yeah, I've, I've had a lot of respect for him. I mean, he's able, he, he he does one voice and he's able to give so much personality to so many clones. I don't, besides the faceless ones, I don't think a single clone he has given the same voice. There's the Mega Revolutions for Team ACT and Team Charm. Holy God, I like, um, I like black and blue Charizard. He looks, he looks awesome. Also, he's actually a dragon. And you want to know something fun? Yes. Our oh, new fan favorite, Ampharos, also gets a Mega Revolution. Nice. Where he becomes a dragon. Oh, and Marwile. Marwile also gets one. I like Marwile. Underrated. Then again, thanks to Marwile's Mega Revolution and gain huge power, it's OP as fuck. 
So I think Marwile got a boost to fame and then dropped off when Mega Revolution was removed. I like how Ampharos is just literally... Oh, he gets hair. It's like, um... I don't know if I can word this right, but it's like, um... It's you know, like, in those, like, old action movies where they're just, like, looking off into the sun, into the direction of the sun? Like, the say, He-Man or something? Yeah, I, I've never watched He-Man, but well, I know, but I know some of the... What it's meant to be is Marie... Baby Ampharos is Marie, which is a sheep. So what yes. it's meant to be is it's meant to have shaved the Mareep and wore, worn its fur. That's what the hair's meant to be. Oh. Or it's meant to be its own fur grown back like its own wool. But we're on the champion now. We probably should have paid attention. This isn't a long, this isn't a long, long boy where we got like um, an hour to talk about random nonsense. But it is more than it is more than ten minutes, so that counts it as a long run. Exactly. Although I'm pretty sure this week the uh, Mystery Dungeons video was longer than the long run. Oh well. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you viewers. I fell behind on my YouTube work, so I'm having to do these um, shorter long runs to catch up. I'm try I'm sorry if that ups you know if you was hoping for a platinum or something. We're going to do a couple of weeks of getting these shorter runs when so I can get the longer runs done. Yeah, because we just fell in love with the um, Mystery Dungeons. Well, it's not even that. It's just literally I got busy within a couple of weeks and then I fell behind. But that was Wallace. So ACT has finally won. That has been all from me. I hope you enjoyed me rambling on about my love for the Mystery Dungeons franchise. And I hope you enjoyed listening to Gamer give me ideas to do Team Rocket in multiple regions. But that has been all from me. He has been Gamer, I have been Phantom. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.